bootcamp, basically. I don't know why that took so long. But uh Sorry, I'm trying to think what to pick. One sec. Renekton maybe? No, don't, why not? Um They have like cafeteria and you're supposed to eat there and like whatever. But I don't wanna like stop streaming to go eat and then come back and turn my stream on again, because it's like it's so bad for viewership. Like, if you turn like if I turn my stream on and off right now, I will lose sixty percent of my viewers on the spot. Like I would unironically lose like eighty percent instantly, and then I will lose another uh I don't know, like I would like six like eighty percent will lose. Except like have peace of mind because I know I did everything I could. Just the way I, just the way it works for me. So that's why for me it's like crazy that like some people go international to like try and then just give up. You know, it's like, dude, it's such a privilege to play against the best in the world. If you're a competitor, this is what you live for, you know? Literally, like you spend every day trying to do this. I'm much stronger than him when he's skill E, so you can just all in him like this and he can't fight back. Shit on that guy, that's nice. Follow Phileos actually. That's why they got shit on that hard. I'm just queuing him there. I don't mind crashing wave 2 and then playing on... Crash wave 2 and then play on waves 2 and 4. You can get a demolish proc wave 2. It's rare that you get this angle, but sometimes when your lane opponent misplay, you can get the demolish proc on this wave. I didn't realize Hecarim was just fucking sprinting at me with a stupid ass phase rush build. Fuck, really? I didn't realize he's doing three tops of camps in the gank. I normally respect that gank, but this time I didn't because I eat there. If I didn't E on the thingy, I could have just walked away, honestly. I would have lived. The Hecarim wouldn't kill me. He would get my flash, but he wouldn't kill me because you can always flash when he charges you with E and flash over him and it's fine, but I couldn't do it there. That's my bad. Well. I shouldn't I should have just eat forward here and just killed him honestly. No, I should have just beat him dry. Just play by me. I could have set him up to dive him now if I had done that. Like right now he'd be low enough to die on my next W cooldown. My W cooldown much lower than his. Twenty four seconds is his. Mine is sixteen. So you can actually kill him. Like right now I could flash W him if I W'd him earlier and put him low enough. Oh well. The opportunity. It happens. I'd have to flush his Q if he plays it properly, but uh, he dies there every time. He didn't realize that I was having kill angle there, and I only missed it because he... because I W'd poorly. XDD, XDD. But uh, the matchup goes back to me winning now. Uh, I thought that is really bad. You can't fall behind in this matchup as Renekton or make mistakes, otherwise you just suffer against Cassante. But if you uh, play well and don't fall behind, you just beat him. I think BB is on Zeus level. BB is better than Zeus. They should really... I would be interested in the results of a study on you guys' brain. How you can watch those two players play and come to that conclusion, it's like genuinely impressive to me. I also not saying BB's bad, he's pretty good at the game, just like, bro. <laughs> like, just bro, you know? Like, literally, just bro. Bro, I have massive wave under my tower, 9 CS under my tower, I'm not giving it up for you, grubs, I'm sorry. Run in a straight line and hit him. BB 
TB is good at the game, absolutely. But like, come on, guys. This guy kind of fucking cracked, yeah. Booty by him. But he's chill. Still in the winning spot when I hit six here. Can't tower dive him because he's W. Maybe we could actually tower dive him. I think. At least could just uh, cocoon and then force him to thingy. Like he could just cocoon. And then if he W's it, then we just uh, kill him in my stun. And if he don't W it, he die anyway. But it's chill. In this matchup, I prefer Black Cleaver Rush over uh, Eclipse, unless I have really good recalls for Eclipse. Okay, so. I could have went plant then if I stayed, but that's life. He will just try to tower dive. Okay, he want me to push. That's chill. Don't know what W mean to tower. Even if he W'd me there, I would just do him as soon as his W is over. At least still here, so if Hecarim comes, he's level 5, can easily kill in one shot with my flush W and 100 Fury. Black Cleaver is just really good into Cassante. If you can one-shot this item, it's like really worth it, I think, to one-shot this item. Uh, like right now, if I could buy Eclipse, I would, because he literally can't breathe 1v1. The Eclipse shield and proc is just too OP. But... I just think that Cleaver into Starax is just a bit too too good of item curve. You can go resistance item afterwards, like I can go run Zoman afterwards if I want. I can go Spirit Visage. I have all the options, basically. Uh, I can also still go more damage if I want to that isn't Eclipse, like I would probably buy like Titanic Hydra for example, or Stride Breaker, but that's also options that still have good synergy with Starax, and my, my curve of my build is better, however I give up some early game power. This matchup is all about dodging his W, so if you can dodge his W, uh, if you can, like, even if you, uh, like basically the only thing you can do wrong is uh, W into his W and then get hit by it. If you W into his W and dodge it, it's still chill, but his W does way too much base damage for you to get hit by it, and you have to dodge it. You can trade him, as long as you don't, like, get hit by it, it doesn't really matter what you do. Like, you just trade short like this and you dodge it like that. Don't let him hit you with stun, because he will just E backwards after the, afterwards. He will W auto you and E out, and you can't trade back. And that that sequence is too strong. He will eventually reach a point where he will kill you all in if you keep trading and letting him hit you with W. But if you keep dodging W, you will out sustain him hard, and he can't keep up. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go buy my Black Cleaver. Oh, actually, I don't need to yet. I mean, it's nice to go buy it, but... I can stun him here uh, forwards because... Um, I'll trade him at this point due to the item gap. Normally, you don't want to do that, but item gap is too big. He can't handle it. So even when he does optimal trade pattern at this point, uh, I still win. I'm gonna recall here. Buy my cleaver and he's fucked. I'm gonna TP back. Keep up the pressure. Try to... Now I'm going to try to squeeze plates off of him. But I uh, cannot die to Hecarim meanwhile trying to squeeze plates because I've shut down. It would be really bad for the game. My champ kind of won me 9 this game, so I can't let that happen. You get CDR, it's also your cooldowns are much shorter than his, so even more rewarding to dodge his W. I got a play, it looks like kind of a bad trade, but I forced him to base TP there. Like, he's so low that I'll just tower dive him now, so he has to base TP there, and I can just sustain up slowly. There's a plant as well, I'll go into the full HP, but even if I don't have plant, I can just help the grubbies, uh, chug my potions, and I can just sustain up. It's very easy to start just playing to 50, 50 
your EQ and that's it. My QCD is getting really low with my items, so... Even through bomb uh, thingies, Rumble, you can 53 EQ. I dropped aggro, maybe I should not have. I could have tanked a bit more, I just thought he could escape the Elise, but she couldn't, so it was my bad actually. Really easy, my either wave clear when low condition. Akram might be sprinting at me, but it's chill. Anti heal, not bad against their top the jungle mid, but. <laughs> Having to buy anti healing here, kinda eh. Mercury is quite worthwhile. I think it's just Mercs into Starax. Ah, oh, let's buy Pickaxe. Mercs into Starax. And I look for Starax into a random zone in this game. And I will be tunnels. Like, I will never die. The champs don't have the capacity to kill me unless I walk in 1v5 and, in and even, like, oh, basically I can walk in 1v5 with how fed I am, but I can't uh, eat in. I have to eat out, and then they can't kill me. Like, assuming my team is close enough to eventually help me, you feel me? Oh. Lover tanked as much as she could. I'll twitch tank. Wow, well played. They played that dive really, really nasty, actually. And nasty as in it was super well played. It was nasty. Dante basing here. Push this wave. Go look to pressure mid plates, I think. I still have uh, demolished proc. Finish slam plates mid. Flash kill whoever comes to defend. Could also do next wave top, which is cannon wave, but you know, I feel like there's a chance I can flash on someone and win the game here. I'm gonna stack my fury on raptors. Flash on AD here, kill him again, double gray screen combo, it's like really rough for him. Alright. Double gray screen combo anyway. I thought Ari would ult and just kill the Thresh, you know? Keep it simple. Can't walk this way. Can't walk past Kassante. Give it to Kassante, give it to Hecarim. Give it to Kassante, give it to Hecarim. Give it to Thresh! What? Ah! Really? He hit me? I guess he did. Fine. I shouldn't have flashed on the stupid fucking track. I I mean, maybe I should just eat. Like, I should just walk towards the Cassante and E and just hope for the best. Better than guaranteed dying, I think. If I'm going to give it to Cassante anyway, I thought I was giving it to Thresh there. That's why. It wasn't worth it. Double killing, like, killing their bot lanes are huge for the pressure on the map, but not really worth it if I die. I could have killed mid tier one and just left as well, you know? It was already pretty good. Anyway, massive wave coming back to me because it was kind of wave near their tier two, so kind of chill. Oh well, um, mind control, pretty much, yeah. But it's chill. Oh, looks like I won't make it to fight. That shit's gone. I have level 11 and ult. I will fight again and I'll be absolutely Thanos. I don't know why in competitive Renekton's don't get this. And like, for, I've talked about this forever, but level 11 Renekton is so fucking OP, it's like the most disgusting power spike in the game. You cannot lose and even fight with Renekton. Renekton at level 11 with one item, like everyone one item, Renekton one item level 11 is literally two champions. I'm not joking. He deals damage worth three, like he deals damage worth two champs, tanks worth two champs. He's just Thanos, like he's two top laners. Like he's actually so broken. It's insane, OP. Oh, flash, little man. No. All right. 
I'll just go that guy and leave. A case in point. I get collapsed on by five, four people. Four people collapse on me. I just tank all their spell. Still kill one guy. Look at that. I still have gas to one shot him. Like, how oh, OP am I, man? Like, what is that? Four people collapse on me. I'm 4v2 with my fucking support. And I just piss on them. That guy played kind of bad, not gonna lie. But like... <laughs> they thought it was 4v4, like it was 4v2, but it was 3v4, like, like 3v4 because I count for 2. Making a pick on this guy is not bad, but if he doesn't show on midwave, the guy should assume there is something off here. You should assume that Twitch is looking for him top. Oh, Ophelios was not aware. He lacked critical information. Wait, he doesn't beat him on v1? Like Twitch should beat him, no? I guess he doesn't, if, like he has specific weapons, or he felt like it wasn't worth taking the risk. But if I also go hunting for him, it's like way too suspicious, I think. Base Ruby Crystal, which they... Someone wants to defend mid? Not me, Ari should go. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to go here, like what? Well played, switch. I guess he knew he would lose if he didn't have ult. Best of luck, brother. I'm out. All enemy team is coming. Alright, next up, Rondon's Omen. I mean, then again, I might reconsider Omen due to the fact that their AD is really weak. So maybe it's better for something else. What are those coins? Uh, they're Infernal Cinders. Uh, on Infernal map, there are Cinders that give you Ability Haste. So that's why I have 23 Ability Haste, because these little Cinders give you Ability Haste. Guess I'll go top here. I mean, uh, Ari should really walk out, I agree. I don't know what Ari's doing. Standard Sky? Shit item. Not shit, but meh. Just a meh item. You can buy it if you want to, but just meh. I think in team fight where Standard Sky healing is uh, relevant, it's like you're just over committing and going in too deep and you are not getting bursted down. Like, I don't think the Standard Sky healing is reliable because usually you get CC'd. Like, if you're hitting someone, I prefer building burst items. I mean, Sunrise Sky is really good. Okay, it's a good item, guys. Okay, sorry. It's just like, I don't know. It's like an item you buy on your Necton when you are just praying you don't get one shot, but I don't know. I feel like I go in, I get hooked. They like CC, CC chain me, burst me. I'm not gonna like fucking Super Mario Brothers Goomba stomp every little Goomba on their team to collect my Sunrise Sky healing, you know? Like, that's not how it works. I'm just gonna fucking hit one guy, use all my spell, and run for my life? Because they just used every spell on me, you know? I'm not like, oh, Sunder Sky, oh, Sunder Sky, like Pac-Man, you know? Um, 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 um. I'm not doing that. Looks decent. Nice play by Elise. Still a good fight. Flashing the Silas. Bit sketchy to kill the Thresh, but I think the something can't kill my whole team. Unless they end like that. But it's fine, I kill him anyway. <clears throat> just flash on the Ari with uh, the Silas with the Ari's ult there. Ophelios is just still pushing top, so kinda chill to kill him. Like here, I prefer even Shojin, but I think like I ironically think Titanic Hydra is a very good item in these spots. Because the extra burst allows me to single out their squishy champs. I'm gonna go bot side here. I think he can go top if he wants to push it. I don't care. He will make it in time for Drake. I, mean, I can't, sure. But I think it's chill. He is Renan. So he can just one shot this wave and then come. There's no stress. He can even do next wave if you want. We're so strong. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I want to be mid anyway because I'm like so strong. So I want to defend this. He has this thingy actually. He drove it away. They don't get value. He's gonna die though, Twitch will kill him. Because he's gonna drop one, two, three. Oh, Twitch didn't get him out of combat. Oh, fine. No biggie. I'll go top. I have TP. I just wanted to be mid because they popped Herald. How oh, did I defend it? We're kill. Wanna hit it? I mean, I can hit it. Don't wanna hit it? Wanna hit it? 
I'm just gonna kill this Herald first, guys. Like, my bot lane not hitting it right now. I'm gonna go kill the Herald first. I'll TP if there's anything, but. Don't look like anything directly interesting. Mine core finish. I don't think I wasted W. Fine. I'm gonna stack 50 Fury and then we'll see what I do. These Spiderlings really good at tanking. Shield. I'm gonna wanna go top here. I have TP if anything. I am doing Drake, so they're giving. I'll go up here. Be max better than me? I think so, yes. First damage, too valuable. I don't want to TP there. No need. Be bored. Piss off. You fucking fucking. Oh, so annoying, like mosquito looking ass. Just let me take your tier 2 in peace, man. I get it. You do so much damage. Huge, big AD carry player. He's just a free tier 2. I'm not gonna waste my. I'm not gonna, like, E into him and let him out play me. Who cares? I'm going Titanic. Oh, and then I'm gonna go Omen, maybe still. We'll see. Depends on how strong our Filios gets. You can go Stride Breaker 2 here, actually. It's pretty good as well. Both my ADK player, so many AA cans. You mean auto and W? Yeah, you can one shot someone with this item as Renekton if you're fed. You can auto, you can auto Hydra into W and complete one shot. I mean, it's rare that you can do it because usually you have to just flash W someone because they can flash your auto W, or like auto Hydra. So, yeah, it's not that great, but it's chill. Don't threaten me with a good time. See, like, I Sunday Sky would be good there, but it's just like. It's no need, you know? Strong enough anyway. Yep, Croc. Whoa! What is happening to my client? Absolutely flashbanged half my viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Riot Games has blinded 5,000 people. Get fucked. Flash banging through the door. Thanks <laughs> for waking us up. There you go. Purpur Tentacle, thank you for the sub, and Romofish, thank you as well. You're really grinding, 10 hours? I'm getting in there. My record is like 80% win rate? I'm not joking. So many guys talk to girls with the singular intent of trying to get into their pants, and it's pretty fucking obvious because it happens all the time. Like, I know it's hard to come to that realization, because I've done it before too, like I've done it. Like, I, even with my current girlfriend, sometimes I catch myself like, wow, like that was really like, I was just like, so unnecessary, you know, like I'm overly trying to make this about sex, you know, but just don't do that. Don't make everything about sex. Just be nice. Enjoy your time together. And I'm 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 saying this is like also like as myself I was like it's so easy to do that, but if you don't, girls will like you. they will enjoy spending time with you like your friends enjoy spending time with you. Like in a way, girls are very similar to guys. It's just about finding a girl that has the same interest as you. Just be nice to them. <laughs> 